up guys? So we went out, me and Robbie yesterday, we got, I got two and Robbie got one. We were on the Liberty at a uh, Fisherman's Day. Landing, yeah. And we only had 80 fish in the boat, slow. Last drift of the day, we got a bunch of fish, but it was fun. Um, sorry we haven't been posting too many videos, but we decided we needed to post one because we were getting so much nice comments and uh, nice fan mail. So, yeah, well, let's get started. We're gonna show you guys how to fillet these and how we package them. Okay. So we're gonna start under the collar and we're gonna go all the way up to the head like that. And then flip them over and do the same thing. Under the collar, to the head. Like that, and just join up your cuts. So now those that's done. And we're gonna cut the belly right here. Open. Grab the guts. Make sure it's clean in there and then we can take the head off like this. Just like that. And now there's a headless tuna. Mm. Alrighty, we're gonna start on the bottom side. Come in like this. And I can feel scraping on the bones. Hopefully you guys can see this. So we're pretty clean to the backbone. I can feel it. And then right here is kind of tricky. If you keep your knife really far in the fish, then you can slide right above the rib cage, just like that, and hit all these bones that lay right here. And then, so you're right on top of them, and you know you didn't cut through the other side of the fish. And then we'll make a little tail cut, just like that. This is, for me, the hardest part on tuna, because I always mess it up but you have to keep your knife. You can't like angle it like on a bass, you can angle it down and hit the bones and stuff on a yellowtail. But on this, you have to angle it pretty flat. And it's, you have to get like right on top of the, the backbone or else you'll cut straight through the other side. On the first two, I already did that. And this little section right there is really tough. It helps if you cut from the inside out on the toughest parts of the tuna skin. Towards the tail, it's not that tough, but the top right there is really tough. I'm just gonna make a little shallow cut to get it started. Okay, so now hopefully this time we don't mess this up. Man, we messed it up. Okay. Well, we got half of them. We'll still, it's still not that bad, okay. I'll show you what I mean. You can easily cut through the other side but it's not that bad, and yeah. Okay, but now we're fully to the backbone on both sides. And then if you look right here, the color separation on the meat, and then you can see these bones that poke out right here. And we're gonna take the knife and go along one side of them and take the top loin off. We'll get four loins, two tops, two bottoms. And there's the first one. And then set that there for a second. Get the other one. So the other one too, you can go on this side of those bones. Really gently. You gotta kinda cut through the ribs a little bit. And this loin should just pop off too. So there's half the fish. Done, clean to the bones. I mean, there's a little bit right there, but not bad. Set them in the shade and I'll show you how to process these. So we have the rib bones right here that need to come off, the belly sinew, and a little bit of bloodshot, if there's any from, a, no, it looks pretty good, no gaff bruise. And so we're just gonna slide a little bit underneath these bones. These suck to take out, just go slow if you're struggling with it. But I'll show you guys a trick. Once you get halfway down, like that much, you can just take them and just pull them out. And it makes your life a lot easier. The ones that are left, just trim out. 
So there's a big old vein right here, artery, you can see the hole. I like to cut that out because it's kind of gross. It actually goes higher than that. You can see the end of it right there. So we'll cut that out. Trim the belly. Tissues off as best you can. And then to portion it, we're gonna put it in a bag, in a freezer bag. So we're gonna cut the tail off. The tail we use for like pokey or tuna rolls or stuff like that. But you can see the, the kind of fat and stuff in there. It's pretty, pretty nice. And then we'll come right here, take a little bit more of this bloodline out. And put it in a bag. We'll wrap it in paper towels, put it in a Ziploc, and get to work on the rest. Wow! Mm -hmm. Right here. This is the shit.